We still have so many camos left to get in in our last video. Our top comment was from Cam saying he wants us to get the QBZ Gold Viper. So that's what we'll be doing today. Also, I'm adding a rule to this series. I get to ban one weapon and that weapon is a ZRG. You can't make me do it again. I'm not going to do it. I will not do it. I refuse. But I forget how long it takes to level up weapons in this game. I've been going back and forth between like zombies, leveling up, getting crystals, going to multiplayer, trying to level it up there. I even got on Warzone for a little bit trying to level it up, but there's not even plunder to grind contracts. So it was kind of useless but it's finally level 50 now meaning that we can get all of the zombies camos we want now really quick here's my camo progress i do have the rotten camo already so we're all done with grunge liquid we are about less than a thousand away i think 800 don't ask me math brush stroke we actually have way more to do than we do with critical kills which is kind of crazy vintage we need a few more elites fauna we need a few more of those camos topo we need all of them infection we need all of them so more camos to get today than last time i'm trying to make sure that that we have enough to do for a video while also still getting crystals and everything it's hard to be efficient but then also leave enough for a video it, it, it's weird but anyways i grinded this on stream a little bit if you want to see the stream it'll be linked on the video but we did go ahead upgrade our assault rifles to tier four we got melee tier one just so we can get them the knife instead of the gun but uh, we have ring of fire all the way tiered up now so we can actually use it and it'll be helpful while grinding camos and with our perks we got tier four jug tier three speed cola tier 5 quick revive tier 2 stamina up tier 5 dead shot tier 4 mule kick tier 4 death perception and tier 4 phd i think we've had phd tier 4 for a while though i just thought i'd update you guys uh i think we can go ahead and upgrade cryo a little bit we got one crystal for that oh we got two all right cool before we hop in let's go ahead and put our build together so i'm gonna throw on the socom eliminator i also still have the mill stop reflex on we're gonna keep the lancer barrel going on the ember sighting point bruiser grip still good for that movement i'm gonna switch to the 50 round drum i still never know what to pick for the grip so i think i'm gonna go with the serpent grip and the sas combat stock i think that's good but since cam didn't leave a map for us to play on we're gonna be hopping on forsaken here and trying to get this thing gold viper all right moving into forsaken here i still love this intro of the map just all the colors and everything are nice but let's get started i'm gonna go start the portal immediately then we can kind of grind up points for a little bit and then just leave them we have like 12k or something let's grab this loose change at the time i'm recording this we're at 99.5k so it's very possible we might hit 100k by the time this video's out and it's been pretty insane i know i say this every time but it's it, it, it really is like two years ago i had 62 subscribers and now i'm about to hit 100k honestly can't describe the feeling of just how surreal it is to actually build a platform to achieve something you've worked so hard for for so long so i i really just wanted to thank you guys so much for the opportunity and just being able to come here and play zombies play call of duty do whatever and have that be you know what i do so thank you guys I, I like really truly thank you let's pop open the jack-o-lantern what we got aether tool to start not bad let's stun all these zombies just because we can Ooh, farming these headshots are that double points it will stay here till our double points is over but right now we're grinding that's three camos in the last two seconds oh we got a chalice already let's go we're like already set to do this oh and another camo they're flying in all right our double points is ended Let's hop on the portal. Head on over here. Pick up the jug loose change. Eh, I might as well buy jug while I'm right here. Also, you guys have informed me that the whole first room thing with uh, the time-based spawns, that goes away after lockdown. I don't know how I never noticed that. I feel like I played on this map a lot since it came out, and I, I just did not pay attention to that. Pop this open. Let's grab quick revive and the loose change from it. Scare package. What do we got? Another aether wrench. We'll take that. Pop this open, please. Open up this. Also, thank you guys for all the controller setting suggestions. Uh, I've tried contextual tap. I don't know if I like it, honestly. At least not for zombies. When I played Warzone a little bit, it's way better on there, but I don't know. I don't know why I, I can't get used to it. I, I said that and then I completely missed grabbing that part because I had to hold down the button. I guess I'm getting used to holding down the button. Don't let that clip confuse you. So it just made it like difficult to switch to just tapping it. Because if you hold down on anything you want to pick up, it just doesn't do it. So I don't know. I just haven't played on controller in so long. Getting used to tapping it differently is a little weird. We picked up the flashlight. We need a little cam or TV or whatever it's called. Open this up. Grab the loose change from Deadshot and grab Deadshot. Do I have enough to open this door? Let's go. We'll grab the fryer. The loose change from Elemental. Don't hit me. Oh, get hurdled. All right, let's lead them all back to the portal. I'm going to put the parts in, ring of fire, and just take them all out. There we go. Okay, ring of fire. Easy. Corrosion camo. 
We take those. All right, time to head through. Gentlemen, how are we doing this evening? What's up, long head? Can never forget to do that. It's always bad luck if I do. Pop this open. Oh, I should have kept my ring of fire for the abomination. We always shred him with the ring of fire, but we already have a pack-a-punch weapon, so I'm sure it's gonna still do some damage to him. One out abomination. I can't tell you how scary that was the first time that thing showed up out of that portal. Oh yeah, he's still getting shredded. There we go. And our rotate camo. Is that the last one? Or is that manic? I can never remember. Anyways, here's Wonderwall. And I'm going through the portal. All right, lockdown is lifted. Let's grab the loose change from PhD. Do I have enough to get an ammo mod? I think it's only 2,000. I do. Good cryo. Head on back through the portal. Let's start up our rampage inducer. Get it off of me. There we go. And now we're home. I feel like this might just dethrone Firebase Z for me. On like my favorite camo grinding map. Mostly because of just how fast rounds go in this first room. And I, you know, I love fighting Orda. He's done a lot for this channel. But having to stop every 10 rounds to go like to uh, an assault wave kind of gets a little annoying. I mean, not annoying, but it just like slows things down. But here the spawns are a lot quicker. I don't have to deal with manglers getting stuck. I don't know. It kind of feels nicer here. Maybe I just like the change of scenery since I sat in Colonel's office for like six months. Is there entropathy camo? I feel like I pronounce that differently every video. What we got in here? Another aether wrench. And we got our drench camo. We're catching up on pack-a-punch now. Oh, max ammo. Come on, zombies. Bring it over here. Let's open this up. What do we got? A ray gun and another chalice. Before we grab that chalice, this is what the QBZ looks like. Pack-a-punch one. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right, zombies. Take the decoy. All right, we got the chalice. This is what it looks like. Pack-a-punch two. Sick. I always forget to show it off before I hit the rampage inducer, and then there's like no time in between rounds to do it. But we got it showed off now. Let's grab the double points. What do we get from that? Oh, a cashmere. That's not bad. Level two armor. I'll take that. And there's another hand cannon on the ground. We don't need that. Oh, bonus points. We'll take that. Easy thousand. Bonus points and double points is like one of the best combos. Same with like insta kill and double points. I think we're already making pretty good progress. Let's go ahead and check. 292 eliminations, 238 crits. That's really good. Let's just try to stay consistent. There we go. Racking them up. Easy. There's our glitch camo. Oh, and a mimic. Get out of here, mimic. Oh, well, he did just that. Also, has this update made you guys a little desensitized to the ray gun? So I picked this up, but I didn't think twice about it. There's just been so many. I feel like once this update's over, I'm going to miss it. Because I hardly ever got the ray gun in this game. Like, like before this update... I hardly ever saw it because I didn't. I wasn't really hitting the box. I was just grinding camos or doing like other kind of like dark ops challenges or whatever. But now I'm getting it like 18 times a game. So it's going to be real sad when, when this update or this event ends. But once we defeat our rampage inducer here, I'm going to go grab the rest of my perks and then we're good to just sit down and wait until our camos start coming in. Oh, I didn't mean to hit that nuke. Oh, well, I'm taking the war machine. Uh Oh, there's an abomination. Oh, he's gone. Those abominations either feel super tanky or super squishy, and there's, like, no in-between. Like, I'll sit there and shoot an entire death machine at him, and nothing will happen. And then sometimes I'll just shoot him with my, my weapon and a ring of fire, and they're gone. I'm still never going to get over how nice Deadshot is. I would not be getting this many crits if I was playing on keyboard and mouse. I do not have that kind of snap aim. Uh-oh. Get back. Ring of fire. Ooh. I can't tell you how nice it is having ring of fire back. Using like diet ring of fire where it's just like damage boost is nice, but not having to take from your, your magazine, I say as I reload, is, is so nice. I have such a bad COD reload problem that whenever there's like a second of just downtime, I'm like, oh, gotta, gotta refill that mag. But also tell me why that this is a 50 round drum mag. And when pack a punch that has like what, 107 rounds full mag? Yeah, 107. But then with the AK with a 50 round mag, when that's pack a punched, that only has 99 bullets. Like, take one bullet out of this mag and put it in that AK, please, just for me. I think we are getting pretty close to Plague Diamond ARs. I think it's only, like, five or something, right? And we already have two done. This is going to be our third. And I'm thinking once we get done with one class, I'm completely ignoring the rest of the weapons in that class. So if we finish off ARs, I'm not doing any more of them. That way, we can just get right to Dark Aether. Because our time is so limited before Vanguard that we really have to grind these out. Uh-oh. Out of ammo. Buy some back. And we're right back to it. Okay, I'm ring of firing. Sipe will get out of here. There's our mana camo. Okay, I think that's the last one. Pretty sure the elite kills only go up to 15. Or elite or special. I don't know what the difference is between the two. Or like elites, the like megaton and what's it called? Abomination. And then the specials are like manglers and mimics and disciples. I think that's right. But we gotta go get our perks. It's round 21, so we need to fill up. We're at 78,000, so we can literally get everything. 
Oh, what's up, Abomination? It says zombies have been avoiding our decoys. Let's see if they get that one. Okay. Okay, we need this, 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 and this. Everything else, we're fine without. Oh. No, we're not. Run! I'm still getting used to controller movement. I'm still, like, cornering myself a lot. So we're gonna walk all the way around. Get out of here, Plague Hound. Can you even crit Plague Hounds? Do they even have, like, a head to shoot? I feel like I haven't seen, like, normal zombie heads in forever. Can we squeeze out a Tony Hawk? Oh, we can! We're nasty! We need to upgrade PhD. That would have been a few kills. All right, we're home. We've made it. The Abomination's here. Let's light him up before he can get over to us. Okay. I think he had the same plan. Holy shit, there's a lot of zombies. Let's get some crits before the Abomination gets a little closer. Let's go. Ring of fire now. Come on, Abomination. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, what is that? A gold chalice? Nice! We're already pack three. I'm gonna miss the chalices too. Such a nice addition. And just all the free upgrades. We already have this legendary and pack three. And it's around 21 with every perk that we need. Like, it's so easy to get set up. But this is what the QBZ looks like. Pack a punch three. Pretty nice. Very good coverage on this gun. I feel like I've said this almost every zombies video, but I really hope there's something like this in Vanguard. I know they're not starting with round base and they're going to be adding it like later into the game. Hopefully not too late, but they just need to have a map that has a nice camo grinding spot and I'll be fine. I think they're going to start rolling out some promo for the game here soon because I'm pretty sure they held off because of the, the ghost of Verdansk or the, the haunting of Verdansk, you know, update. And we just got this new zombies map. So they're, they're giving it a little bit of a lifetime but uh they got to start rolling out vanguard stuff because it is what is today today is the 26th of october and vanguard comes out on november 5th so we're very close but there's lots of stuff releasing this november animal crossing is getting a new update a lot of stuff in there uh my girlfriend and i played that a lot towards the start of quarantine so i think she's going to be getting back into it because that has the same release day as vanguard so i'm gonna have to wait she'll have to let me know what's going on in there but also on the 15th pokemon brilliant diamond and shining pearl are coming out and i really want to play those i think we'll be streaming that over on twitch i'm gonna start doing like a little bit of uh a little bit of variety games over there so if you you want to check it out make sure you follow my twitch and then since we're, we're shamelessly plugging I've, I've had a few fire tweets recently uh the other day i ordered a, a new capture card and what i got in the mail was literally nipple pumps like nipple shields for breastfeeding i don't know how amazon messed that up or if one of my friends is messing with me and they like gifted it to me but in a package where i thought i was getting my elgato i literally got little shields for my nipples in case i wanted to you know breastfeed so that was pretty cool what's our crits looking like 715 out of 899 that's not bad we're only like 100 200 behind that's a pretty clean ratio how many do we need 800 i think we'll be done with crits before pack a punch and for like the first time ever i think that's mainly from me just grinding without having it fully leveled up which really sucks because i've been trying some like weapon xp methods so if you guys have any of your own feel free to leave them in the comments but oh there's there's banished that's 250 crits right there we we're just talking about them so we are done with crits before pack a punch so now we can kind of just kill and not care about getting crits but the thing i've been trying is when i play multiplayer i put on the assassin perk because i think that gives you bonus xp for killing the the assassin target and then also i've been putting on uh i think it's gearhead but with gearhead i don't know if that's a field upgrade charger one or not it might be something else but i also put on the assault pack which gives you i don't even think it's ammo i think it's like special ammo it's almost like uh stopping power rounds in modern warfare but it gives you bonus xp per kill while you're using that so i've been throwing that on my classes while playing like some hardcore face off and i think that's helping the xp a little bit what would really help is if right now they just had double weapon xp until vanguard came out but i guess they are having triple double on the weekend like they did last weekend I just wish I would have thought about doing this sooner. So we can at least get these weapons leveled up in preparation. Because man, is it a struggle getting all those levels. Survivor, let's go. Easy challenge done. What do we got here? A flamethrower, I'll pick that up. So I think I think we're like about 500 kills away from getting our pack-a-punch done. And then we are completely done with the QBZ. I don't know what's so satisfying to me about sitting in like the same spot on whatever map and just shooting zombies until I see a nice little gold pop up. I don't know why it's hardwired in my brain for that to be fun but it honestly is oh i fell off 
plus ratio. Because the people that don't play zombies or grind camos, this looks so like meticulous, but it's just so satisfying. I don't know what it is. I feel like it's just a progression while doing something so mindless that is that really makes it. Someone should make a video of uh, the psychology of camo grinding. I, we need like a trained psychologist to do that. We got another gold chalice. We might as well triple pack our ray gun. Do kills while pack a punch count with uh, ammo mods? Uh, I don't know if I should grab brain rot and test it. Maybe if we see shatter blast, we'll try it. Because I know shatter blast counts for like jackrabbit medals while going for melee weapons, but I don't know if it counts it kills while pack a punch. So it would be pretty cool to just toss on shatter blast, train up a group of zombies and just get like a plethora of camos done. I think that's only like the, the kills within a certain time period and like jackrabbit medals that that really counts for. I could be wrong. Oh, Mimic, get out of here. Oh, there's gold viper. Let's go. We made it. We did it. That's another AR down. That's three ARs so far. There's our chemical camo. We're all done. I guess I'm going to try to fight my way to Xville. I think we can do that. It's around 31. That's not too far away. Because normally I would just sit here and like fight off the zombies, not really trying to stay alive, just seeing how long I can stay in one spot and survive. But I think we can kind of do that pretty easily right now. So I'm going to let the RCXD do the talking. Get him RCXD. This is the stupidest strat. Literally just sit here with a little toy car and it just blows everything up. Can't even be touched. Literally just goes till the battery's out. All right, let's just ring a fire and take everything out. Everything in sight, especially you, Disciple. Is there another one of you somewhere? There is. Goodbye. That kind of, it's it's weird getting done with camos on round 29 or 27 whenever I finish. Because normally it's like me going from zero camos all the way till like dark age. Aether. And that doesn't usually happen until like round 40 to like 45, even higher in some cases. So hopefully if you guys have some nice uh, weapon level grinding tips and I can actually get this thing done or up to level 50 faster without me having to like, you know, waste a few camos on my way there, then we can start getting some nice long videos of us grinding some camos out. It just feels so odd being done already that we actually have time to sit here and exfil. Because when I when I finish at round 40, I'm like, just get me out of here and I let the zombies kill me. But like, I feel like I got more in the tank. I can still go, but there's no point in doing so. Because this is time I could be spending like leveling up other guns and getting ready for the next video. Oh, what's up, Tempest? Goodbye. We got one round to go. Actually, what am I doing? Why don't I just ray gun? That's the one time I can just use it. I wonder if the ray gun's going to be one of the most used weapons on this account. Actually, I don't think so, since we, we've just been grinding our guns. But it might be up there. Honestly, if I had to pick what weapon we're doing next, and I wasn't going off comment suggestions, actually, this might just be a stream thing, so be on the lookout for this. I just want to do the M79 and just grind that out. Like, I'll get a few levels for it, maybe even max it out in multiplayer before we go ahead and go for round 100, just to get it gold while we're just sitting in the pizza room doing it. I know we talked about this before, but it, it honestly seems like so much fun fun especially that we have phd tiered up to at least three i think we have a four because at three you stop taking uh explosive damage on your own or self-inflicted explosive damage let's start up the x fill easy and let's try to get out of here i think it's gonna be pretty easy it's only round 31 but for most of these videos especially until we have everything we need upgraded i think i need to x fill every time unless it's like uh like eight or something rounds away if it's less than five rounds away i think we'll do it because this the bonus crystals you get for x filling will help out so much oh there's an abomination immediately spawned right on top of me let's let's finish this where we started bring a fire signature slayer there we go oh we got the calling card for it oh abomination's already down you know what flamethrower in the ring of fire i'm just gonna spin and shoot it <laughs> i'm literally like a fire tornado this is so stupid there's one zombie left where are you you're not getting in you're staying out there here here's a little extra yeah you take the rest of the flamethrower just a little bit more. There you go. All right, Raptor 1, we can leave now. Final stats, 1,583 eliminations, 1,120 crits. Pretty, pretty freaking good crit ratio. And yeah, I said frick. What are you gonna do about it? So from that, we got two, what is that, refined? Oh, flawless crystals. We got some raw Ethereum, eight of them, and five refined. And the rest of our camos. But this is what the QBZ looks like in Gold Viper. I think this is probably the worst camo coverage I've seen yet. It's literally on most of the part of the gun that you don't even see. That is horrendous. This is it with Plague Diamond, which looks way better with that coverage because the diamond's more of an accent opposed to just it being only in that area. Dark Aether looks way better. I don't know why the Dark Aether coverage is different from the gold coverage like just cover the rest of the gun with it i don't understand and yeah it is five weapons to get plague diamond so we're only two away if you guys want to see a plague diamond make sure you suggest some uh some ars for me but let's go see what it looks like in game maybe it's better there all right this is what the qbz looks like in game with gold viper the coverage is honestly not good at all 
It's actually horrendous. Like I thought it might just be a glitch in the gunsmith. I was trying to hold out hope that it might look better in game, but it, it really doesn't. It, most of it is just default gun and then somebody like painted it. Like they, they gave it to their kid. But I am extremely disappointed at this weapons camo coverage. This is horrendous. I don't know why it doesn't have the same coverage as Dark Aether, but this is just bad. This is real bad. But I think that's where I'm gonna have to end the video. Once again, thank you guys. We are so unbelievably close to 100K. So I just really, really wanted to extend my appreciation to you. None of this could happen without you guys. But with that being said, we got the QBZ done. Uh, we're only two ARs away from our first Plague Diamond on this account, so that's pretty exciting. But that's where I'm gonna have to end the video. So if you guys like this and you wanna see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't, you don't. Dislike. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and put all kinds of COD content throughout the week. That's gonna be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.